Becky Troth started walking along the trails of the CNO Canal at the start of the pandemic, and it's something that she does pretty frequently. Not while it's dark how it is now, but usually in the mornings. That's why she was so stunned when this past Sunday she realized someone broke into her car and went through her purse. I came back and got in the car and didn't notice anything different. The purse was still in the bag on the floor. Troth tells me she locked her car and there was no sign of a forced entry when she got back in. It wasn't until she went to buy food that she noticed something was wrong. I opened up my wallet and the wallet was there, but there were no credit cards. And, uh, the debit card was gone and I had $300 in cash that was gone. Park police told her they've seen this exact same thing before. A detective shared this bulletin of a suspect they're looking for. Investigators believe Alexander Shamilov could be responsible for at least 18 break-ins dating back to August of 2021. According to the bulletin, it's believed that he's rented a car from New York or New Jersey and then committed the crimes down here, usually with another female suspect. While it's unclear if this was the same person who broke into Trot's car, the M.O. is the same. Hondas, mostly CRVs, are targeted. That's the car that Troth drives. They took like a um, bobby pin and they were able to open the lock, even with the cars now that have the fo key fobs. Troth says the thief tried to make more than $5,600 worth of purchases on her cards, but they were declined by her bank. While she's thankful she wasn't hurt and nothing irreplaceable was stolen, she says it's affected her. So it does sort of increase your sense of insecurity. Park police are still searching for whoever's responsible, so if you see anything or know anything, you're asked to reach out to them. And if you are hiking along these trails, you're advised to not leave anything valuable in your car. In Potomac, Mauricio Casillas, News 4.